So can you um, can you break down how data centers are bankrupting America's grid in plain terms for for those watching and who didn't who who don't know? Yeah, because so this is a hyper local question, and if you're in Virginia, you're you're living through a ton of data centers right now. It's an epicenter actually of internet traffic globally is in Virginia, Northern Virginia, and that's good and bad. And some of the good is that your 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 internet's probably faster than most people, but some of the bad is that you're probably your neighbors are potentially having to smell and live with the effects of diesel generators in order to provide power to these things because the problem one of the problems with ai is that its computations are um, exponentially orders of magnitude more complex than data centers were pre ai so a netflix data center is using a fraction of the computing power it's using a slower computer to give you the information for the to your to your tv set but for AI, it's using a super fast computer with graphics cards that take up a ton more power. So these data centers now are coming online and requiring gobs more power than many local grids have room for. That requires upgrades that are often put on the backs of every consumer in that region. And um, in some cases, the most profitable companies in the world, like Meta, Facebook, are getting their new power plant to, to uh, are getting power plants to power their brand new billion dollar data center 